Hi cuties. Um, I hope you all are having a great day right now. It is actually about eight o'clock at night, but I am coming on here to do journeys day two with you. So whenever you watch this, um, we are going to be echo reading today. Um, but before we do that, I want to give you and my friends in my classroom and anyone else a little life update. I think y'all will be excited to hear this if you don't already know. If you look behind me, I have a dog crate because I'm getting a puppy. I'll show you a picture. Let me clear my phone because Miss Phillips is texting me. He's so cute. His name is Tucker and he's a golden retriever. And I bring him home on April 3rd. So that is the Friday before we hopefully get to come back to school. So I will bring lots of pictures and tell you all about his cuteness. I even have... His little collar, it just came in the mail. You can see Tucker. So, super excited. Um, I'm sitting here with my Journeys book. We are doing A Tree is a Plant, and we're going to echo read. And I've got my Dot Dr. Pepper, so I'm ready to roll. So, um, if you're watching, what's going to happen is you're going to hear me read. And this is just like what we do in class. I'm going to read and then I'm going to leave a space of silence. So I want you to go back and echo me and read it out loud. Let everybody hear you. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Okay, friends. If you can tell, I'm in my jammy jams. I've got my monkey pants on, but we are going to jump right in. A tree is a plant. A tree is a plant. A tree is the biggest plant that grows. Most kinds of trees grow from seeds. The way most small plants do. There are many kinds of trees. Here are a few of them. How many do you know? Good job. This tree grows in the country. It might grow in your yard too. Do you know what kind it is? This is an apple tree. This apple tree came from a seed. The seed was small. It grew inside an apple. Have you ever seen an apple seed? Ask an adult to help you cut an apple in two. The seeds are in the center. They look like this. Great job, friends. Most apple trees come from seeds that are planted. Sometimes an apple tree grows from a seed that falls to the ground. The wind blows leaves over the seed. The wind blows soil over the seed. All winter the seed lies under the leaves and the soil. All winter the seed lies under the ice and snow and is pushed into the ground.
spring comes, rain falls. The sun comes out and warms the earth. The seed begins to grow. At first, the young plant does not look like a tree. The tree is very small. It is only a stem with two leaves. It has no apples on it. A tree must grow up before it has apples on it. Each year, the tree grows. It grows tall. In seven years, it is so tall that you can stand under its branches. In the spring, there are blossoms on the tree. Spring is apple blossom time. Okay, I want you to think, when do the trees blossom? What season did the story say? The blossoms last only a few days. Then they fall to the ground. Now there are green leaves on the tree. Among the leaves, there are small apples. The apples are where the blossoms were before. The apples are green and they are almost too small for you to see. The apples grow slowly. They grow all during the spring and the summer. You're doing great. Keep it up. In the fall, they are large and ripe. They are ready to eat. We can see the apples and the leaves on the branches. We can see the branches growing out of the trunk. We can see the trunk growing out of the ground. We can see the bark of the tree. The bark covers the branches and the trunk like a coat. But there is a part of the tree that we cannot see. If you remember from the read aloud yesterday, I want you to go ahead and tell me what part of the tree can we not see? Good job, the roots. We cannot see the roots. They are under the ground. Some of the roots are large Some of them are as small as hairs. The roots grow like branches under the ground. 
A tree could not live without roots. Roots hold the trunk in the ground. Roots keep the tree from falling when the wind blows. Roots keep the rain from washing the tree out of the ground. Great job. Roots do something more. They take water from the ground. They carry the water into the trunk of the tree. The trunk carries the water to the branches. The branches carry the water to the leaves. Hundreds and hundreds of leaves grow on the branches. The leaves make food from water and air. They make food when the sun shines. The food goes into the branches. It goes into the trunk and roots. It goes to every part of the tree. Fall comes and winter is near. The work of the leaves is over. The leaves turn yellow and brown. The leaves die and fall to the ground. Now the tree is bare. All winter it looks dead. But the tree is not dead. Under its coat of bark, the tree is alive. Spring comes again, rain falls. The sun warms the earth. The tree blossoms and new leaves grow. As long as it lives, the apple tree grows. As long as it lives, the apple tree blossoms. In the spring, and apples grow on it. Oh my gosh, there was a bug. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Y'all are doing great, we're almost done. When do you like apple trees best? In spring when they are covered with blossoms? In summer when they are covered with leaves? In winter when they are bare? or in fall when they are covered with apples. Awesome job, you guys. I'm so proud of you and I will see you tomorrow for a coral reef.